it's awesome for salespeople, supervisors, managers, directors. The goal is to have a great one-on-one -on -one of what the employee needs to work on based on what they need uh, help with based on their goals and their stuff. So they drive it. So as the leader, the person hosting the one-on-one, -on -one, obviously that'll be your name as the coach, today's date. Let's always have a next meeting plan so we know how to do the game plan. Reflect on some personal and professional highs. Ask about what they, how they did on their last game plan from the last meeting and any lessons learned. Check out their leading and lagging indicators. Everyone should have some leading and lagging indicators, how they're doing versus their targets. Ideally, each quarter, you should have some learning, some priorities, some things you're trying to get better at, some projects you're trying to knock out, something special about what's going on that quarter above and beyond their normal job duties to continue to always improve. But then most importantly, the parking lot, what's on their mind, what if any obstacles are preventing from accomplishing their goals, it's your job as a leader to remove those obstacles and coach them through working on this. So when it comes to timing on this, this top part is four or five minutes up here, few minutes here, few minutes here, but then 30 to 45 to an hour in this area here going over that. You will walk out with some game plans and action steps that as you come up to your next one-on-one, -on -one, you will go through this. So I recommend at least bi-weekly meetings to make sure everyone's on target. In sales, I usually like weekly meetings to make sure they're on target and to make sure we can get on top of it as soon as possible if something is going a little bit astray.